Hey guys, welcome to part two of my craft haul from an estate sale here in town. Okay, let's see. Okay, I have this board, kind of like, looks like a cutting board. So I have this board and I'm gonna use it for clay work and stuff. So I needed that. I got some large stencils. Pretty nice. Goes in the binder. Okay. Um I got some wire floral wire. I know what to do with them. So I got two, a green and a heavy duty uh, floral wire and a, a lighter wire. Cute. What else can I show you? Okay, I got these little card things. You put in cards. I couldn't find any paper. She had books of paper, like brand new books, but they wanted like $20 a book. Uh, I just couldn't afford it. So I took off. Whatever stencils were there, I took the stencils. Okay, so we have, and this will go in a binder. I already have a binder, it was given to me. So I got these kind of stencils, these stencils. This one doesn't have a hole punch, but that's okay. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, different kinds, okay. Different sizes, okay, I got that. I got this one with hearts and Christmas baubles on it. There's a smaller one, like a school stencil, church stencil, I don't know. Like these are for card making, obviously. And then there's this one with lines, borders. Can you see? There you go. And fairy tales, crowns, wishes, stars on that one. Got another stencil. I think this was paper. And then I got this kind of stencil. Uh, a bride. Oh, princess stencils. this kind of stencil. Now this one here, I think this is a wall stencil to be honest. This one here. I think this one's a wall stencil. And then I think like a frame kind of a stencil. Go around the envelopes, I think. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just learning I'm just learning this card stuff, so I started the card making before I started the candle making, so. And then, okay, here's some more. Oh, look at this one. She had this book, so puppets. How to make puppets. Felt puppets. How to f it's an old one. Definitely an old one from the 60s. 70s. <laughs> Got that one. <laughs> okay, and then we have these, these, this stencil here. We got this one. Yeah, and there's a wall stencil, but that's okay. For the leave. And 
happy a little ever after princess stencil. And like I said, there was hardly anything for paper. I got this kind of a stencil. Okay, and the only paper that I got was this stuff, just a couple sheets, and just like a half a card, like just two card ones. That's all I got. Really, not really anything here. I got three cards. So if I ever decide to make my cards, I have only three. Oh, and then there's this one. I, I took this because, I don't know, I thought maybe a person could cut it out and make a clock. For a nursery, I thought a person could make a clock or cut it out, put it in a frame. I know, it was just something I, was, I saw. And then I really like this paper with the mice on it. Now there's some books, stuff. Like I don't have these stencils. I don't have these stencils. <laughs> There's some how-to things. I took them because I didn't know what I'd do with them. So I thought, well, why not? Oh, here's another little trinkets, crafty stuff, some sparklies in there, some foil, I think these are for hats, sun visors, yeah, whatever, first I could do something with those. And then craft stuff. This, whatever that is. Here, yeah. got some little containers. Got these word thingies. I got some sand. That'll be good for something. Okay, and I got another bag, a bag of pins. I can't wait to see those because I collect pins. I hope there's something good in there. We got another bag of magnets to go through. Oh, I got this bag of magnets to go through. Oh my goodness. I got some sparklies. Okay, now this is what I went for. The reason why I went there and I called her so she could put everything on hold for me and the case is lovely. So we have this big huge box of stamps. This is what I went for. This is why I went. Now I don't know which is top and which is bottom. This is supposed to be the top. So. This is why I went. Okay, so there's this case. And 
and they're not even glued on. It's still like a brand new, brand new stamps, never been used, so I have to glue those together. A happy birthday, which is really good. I need that. And I wouldn't like love and Valentine's Day. That's good. That's a good stamp to have. A Merry Christmas stamp, a large stamp. I mean, these ones can't be cheap, right? The big ones. I still think I paid too much money. And then there's a little note thingy. I thought that would be nice. That, that's nice for the inside. Thinking of you card. Like, I don't have any of this stuff, and I needed some of the, Oh, look at that little cute froggy. Mm. Flowers. Like, I still need so many things. Like little border stamps. Hearts. Stars. Candle, a birthday candle. Girly girl. A heart. Some more wings. The envelope. This one's a nice big one. Some little ones here, and I'm pretty sure they would fit in a case because I'll end up losing. They look like letters. I got this kind of stamp. We got this fun ink one, paint spots. You got stocking. That says it's small stocking. I got a present. <laughs> the chickadee chicken. I got some cheap ones. Christmas. Ooh, feathers. That's a nice one. Got this one. I got a pumpkin. One. And I got all these little ones here, which I don't know, like they're letters, so I don't know if they're all here. And I got some cheap paper ones, so. So this makes me happy. It's a start anyways, you know? It's a start of something. It's not everything a girl needs to make, you know, but... 
it's a start, right? Okay. So that's my haul. Oh, hang on. I got these. Okay. Now, I asked them if they wanted them and they said no because, oh my goodness, my knee is giving up. And I gotta grab it. Okay, I got this necklace. This I'm pulling apart because these are going to be rocks on a beach for resin. So that's where that's going to go so I don't lose it. Now, I got these poles. No. I'll figure out a recycling thing to do, but they're for an old grandfather clock. No, they're heavy. I, I, there's, I bet you these are like brass of some sort, a heavy metal, maybe even cast iron, but these are awesome. So these are going to be saved for a project. And yeah, guys, like I can't wait. So, so I'm gonna break this down into three parts, I think, because there's so much stuff to go through. I don't want people to get bored. So, we're gonna do part three with the magnets, and then part four with the pins, so everything is separate. Okay. See you soon.